Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back, back, back again with a reaction to Amberlynn Reed's latest video called Finally Talking About Shrimp Gate. Now, she did also post another video that I didn't react to, and while I could find ways to be a transformative content creator and <laughs> do a reaction to it and or just provide general commentary on it, to be honest, there's nothing that I feel so strongly about that I need to, to comment on or talk about from that video. But today's video, like I said, is clearly gonna be about Shrimpgate, which if you weren't around for Shrimpgate, I think this video had to happen like three-ish years ago, four. <laughs> I don't know, here's, here's how I tell time when it comes to things that have happened on YouTube to me and or around the, the communities that I cover. And this video was so long ago, it was in my little tiny studio apartment when it happened, okay? That's where I was living. I was living in a tiny studio apartment. I had a microwave on top of my fridge that everybody liked to talk about. So it's been a while, because I obviously haven't lived in that apartment in a very long time. I think I, I lived there around like 2017 to 2018-ish. It's been a while. And I had to even just remind myself a little bit about what happened surrounding Shrimpgate. So I went back to look on my channel to see what I could find from my coverage on the specific situation. And I actually found a video where I didn't react to Shrimpgate itself. I didn't even react to this video, okay, when it originally came out. But I did cover her losing a whole bunch of subscribers because of it and also did a reaction to this like little video that she posted after the shrimp fiasco, talking about how she wanted people to be understanding, forgiving, whoever, whatever. So if you're interested in that video, I'm gonna leave it linked in a pinned comment down below so you can go see what my thoughts were at the time. I think it gets misconstrued what Shrimpgate was really about whenever it happened. A lot of people like to talk about it just being how she ate like a ridiculous amount of shrimp and a mukbang, which on its own is like questionable, but wasn't too far outside of the scope of things that Amber Lynn was doing on her channel at the time. But the reason why people were really upset at the time was because Amber Lynn, literally the day before she posted this shrimp mukbang, okay, literally right before she posted the shrimp mukbang, she posted a video where she talked about how she wasn't going to talk about her weight loss anymore, this, that, the other, and that, it, sh that she was done talking about her weight on YouTube. And then the very next day followed it up with this huge shrimp mukbang. And then the day after that posted the video that I reacted to in the video I have linked down below in the pinned comment. She also, in the video that she posted after the shrimp mukbang, she talked about how she no longer felt the way that she felt whenever she posted the shrimp mukbang in the video about not talking about weight loss anymore and getting upset with people for thinking she was a weight loss channel, this, that, the other. And so she said that she went ahead and posted those two videos anyways because she had already filmed and she didn't want to waste videos that she had already put a lot of hard work into. And so yeah, then she, I think, ended up losing like eight to 10,000 subscribers. And that was pretty much what it was about, is people were fed up with her going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth about whether she was going to talk about weight loss, whether she wasn't, whether she was a weight loss channel, whoever, whatever, and people had just had enough at that point. And it's interesting because not a lot has changed for her channel since then. She's still going back and forth every day about whether or not she's a weight loss channel or not and if she's going to talk about it or not. And I think really, actually, the only thing that's really changed is that she doesn't post videos these days that are titled as mukbangs. She's shown herself eating, of course, but she hasn't really done like a true mukbang in a while, like a video just dedicated to her eating on camera. And my opinions haven't really changed much since then. Actually, in the video that I linked down below, I talk about how she'd be better off if she just didn't talk about her weight loss. And it's kind of wild to me how long I've been saying that on this channel, because that's how I feel. Like she would be in a much better place if she didn't talk about it. But with that being said, I'm not really sure why we're revisiting the Shrimpgate scandal on her channel today. 
I don't understand what the point of that is, why she's bringing it back up. I personally don't love to do a lot of retro reacts on my channel just because like, you know, I think it's much more interesting to see where she is today. Although it is sometimes interesting to see, you know, like how far or not far, maybe in some cases she's come. But I also think the title of her video is a little misleading because she says finally talking about Shrimpgate as though she's never talked about it ever on her channel before and like, she has addressed Shrimpgate before. Can you explain why you think you got so much backlash from Shrimpgate? I think a lot of people were angry because during that time I said that I wasn't going to talk about my weight loss anymore. Um, so a lot of people got really angry about that and I was like smug about it, whatever. Um, my cat. I, I do think that is my choice and my opinion and I still stand by that. Um, I think the whole let's unsubscribe to Amberlynn this has pillows in it, this bag. Um, let's unsubscribe to Amber Lynn thing was more so just like, oh, this is just for funnies because I lost over like 10,000 subscribers and I gained them all back like a few weeks later. So it was mainly just like a, I don't know what it was, but people were like upset with me, but I feel like I can't tell anyone when they should or should not be upset, but I mean, if I don't want to talk about something on my channel, I feel like that's okay. I feel like, you know, I should have that option. But either way, I'm curious to see what happens, and this is a very long video because I assume she's reacting to her original 17 minute long video, uh, which again, I have never reacted to that, so this is almost like my first time original shrimp gate reaction situation type of deal. So let me stop talking and let's just get to get to, shall we? Hey guys, Hi. so we're going to <laughs> talk about shrimp gate. Yes, we are. Um, if you guys don't know about this era in my life, this was about four to five years ago. Uh -huh. And I lost in only a couple of days about 12,000 subscribers. Correct. And here's why. I have not watched this well, video. Well, okay. I mean, I already talked about this a little bit, but like for context, it was this video in the midst of of the other things she had been saying, doing, posting on her channel. Just so we're on the same page about that. <laughs> it wasn't just her eating a bunch of shrimp. Uh, and I'm curious how she's going to, to phrase it and things like that. Since I uploaded it, I don't remember what I said in it. Nothing. Okay. So we're going to watch it together and see why. 12,000 or more people decide to unsubscribe from me uh, <laughs> within, within just a few days. I, I'm so curious why she's acted brand new about it. I really am because I'm pretty sure if I edited things correctly, I showed you the clip where she talked about how everybody like ended up coming back or like not everybody, but she ended up getting those subscribers back eventually. And so like I, she's not done. I like, I can't believe that she doesn't remember the context for what happened. That feels a little manipulative, Lynn, if you ask me. Gaslight Lynn. <laughs> That's it. Hey guys. Okay, so we have another. We're going to eat shrimp uh -huh. with cocktail sauce. I don't know what that is. Me going, that was weird. Um, I will say that a lot of people still to this day talk about how I ate a whole thing <laughs> of cocktail shrimp. So let's yeah. see how many I actually eat. Well, okay, Bestie, again, the, the context of this is that people were upset about all of the things on your channel and this was just the final straw for them. So you want to focus on how much shrimp you ate, but the real issue was that you were, you know, saying you were no longer a weight loss channel, you had, you were being smug about what you did or didn't need to do to lose weight, whoever, whatever. There's way more context than just you ate a bunch of shrimp, which you eating a bunch of shrimp was a part of the conversation, but it just like, it was more than just this. Okay, so I'm really excited. Here we go. I hate shrimp, by the way. This is, <laughs> and um, shrimp cocktail. Is so, we're just gonna have the tails over there. 
So just because I, well, I usually watch all of everything on YouTube on times two speed. Oh, are you speeding so yourself we're up? Watch it. Okay, work. At one point five. Okay, um, work. Hopefully, that's not too fast for you guys. Let's fucking go. Actually, like a, I mean, I was tempted to speed her up because this is a 32 minute long video, but I'm glad she's speeding herself up at least. If I sped her up now, it would sound real messed up, so we're definitely not going to, but okay, work. It's cold. I talk really slow, so. You sure do. <laughs> you surely do. Yeah, I'm gonna have water. <laughs> <laughs> this is a um, Kroger brand, I think, yeah. Back when she used to buy the big old jugs of water and move them into new containers like water bottles and stuff and she would meal prep water by by pouring water into mason jars and put it in her fridge. I will say, because I watched the video where I talked about the aftermath of Shrimpgate and her losing subscribers, if I recall correctly in that video, I said that this was a relatively boring video. Like, she didn't have a lot to say. She was just eating a bunch of shrimp. So, I don't know how interesting Amber Lynn's going to be able to make this reaction to herself. And, in fact, I'm, I'm guessing she's probably going to rely on the fact that it's boring to be like... I think she's going to be like, can you believe that people were really upset over this to the point that I lost all those subscribers? Uh, all because, you know, it's just it's just her eating. And her plus... I would go through phases in the past where I thought drinking a gallon of water was good for you. I would say for some people, but uh -huh. um, all bodies are different. Don't force yourself to drink a gallon of water. I do edit out some of my eating, silence, etc. in this to keep it to the point. Okay, work. This, this, is, so this okay. is awkward. So the topic for today. You could, you could literally be looking at yourself on camera, but instead you're looking at yourself in your camera right now, just so we're on the same page. Like... You are looking at yourself through the camera when you could just be looking at your computer screen. Is. Is. Mukbangs and weight loss. This is like such a big thing. Because Obese to Beast made another video. Uh huh. Um, kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mukbangs, like obese people doing Mukbangs and like mixing weight loss with Mukbangs. So. The if I remember correctly, Amberlynn for a long time tried to say that, you know, mukbangs, mukbangs didn't impact her ability to lose weight and that it didn't, you know, make a difference because she was going to eat anyways. But in recent history, she has said that the reason she doesn't post mukbangs anymore is because it's not, it's not healthy, it's not ha helping her meet her goals, things like that. I personally messaged him um, because we have talked in private before. Like, because he made two videos about me uh -huh. and then a video about mukbangs. Before the mukbang video, I um, messaged him. This was before the mukbang video. So, before he started talking about mukbangs, I messaged him and just been like, I just asked him, like, why couldn't you tell me, like, in a message that you, everything you said in the video, why couldn't you tell me? I remember this moment. I was definitely confused because me and him had, you know, talked in private before. Um, he wanted to help me just a little bit with like weight loss, give me some uh -huh. advice and stuff. And then he made a whole video um, kind of like expressing his feelings or concerns. Um, and I just thought it was weird since, you know, we have been talking in private why he didn't voice those to me privately. Instead, like he made a whole public video about it. So... I found that. I I love I love her sharing just like her one her one message to him with no context of what he said or she said after that. Love that. If I remember correctly, she was very fine and okay with his original two videos because he was relatively like not critical and was like genuinely trying to just share helpful advice and stuff to her. And I think the mukbang video, if I recall correctly, was just like critical of all YouTubers who did mukbangs, but also claimed they were trying to lose weight. Uh, Cause you know, that's also one of my things. Like I, at the time I remember both her and Chantal were so insistent that they could continue making money doing mukbangs on camera 
and also like prioritize their weight. And I was just like, yeah, but I don't, I don't think you're ever going to have like a great relationship with food. And granted, I'm not a medical expert or anything, but like, you're never going to have a great relationship with food. If like your food is connected to your money, right? Like if you have to be thinking about eating for a, a YouTube channel, you're not going to be able to prioritize like a healthy relationship with the food. So I think, I think she was, what she was really upset was, is that he was just critical of maybe some of her behaviors on YouTube. And she felt like he owed it to her to like share those criticisms privately, which I mean, to be honest, I don't think anybody owes her anything <laughs> like that. From my own experience of talking with Amber Lynn Reed in the past, in the present, probably in the future, she's always felt like entitled to tell me what I should or shouldn't be able to do on my channel. So I can only imagine that like her thoughts were, wow, you said this negatively about me and because I've talked with you privately, you only should be posting things that I'm okay with. Cause like, have I literally had conversations like that with Amber Lynn in the recent history? Yes. <laughs> so it's just, it's just, that's what I'm imagining having my own experiences with her of what that conversation with Obese to Beast looked like. Which if you don't know who Obese to Beast is, he does a lot of weight loss content on his channel in terms of like reacting to, you know, fitness professionals, people who are morbidly obese, overweight, things like that, because he himself used to be morbidly obese and has lost a lot of weight. And so he provides his insight onto those things and those matters. I haven't watched his channel in a very long time, but I assume that's still what he's up to on the YouTube is. Time to be a wee bit frustrating, but it's like now I get it, you know, it's the YouTube game making content about me does get one, um, quite a few views. So I get it now. <laughs> hey, Amber, obviously. Uh, and okay. Today, um, he explained that like, mukbangs shouldn't be done by people on a weight loss journey. So Ooh. I want to say my opinion on this now. Is it, um, what that is it? I, that I really firmly think that you can still lose weight and do mukbangs but I feel like there's a fine line between what type of food are you eating and how is it going with like your mental, you know? Like, is it mentally doing you good? Uh -huh. Is it doing you bad? Like, sure, sure, what is sure. it doing for you? What purpose is it serving you? Um, but I do believe like, if we're just like black and white, Yes, you can do mukbangs or eat on camera and lose weight. You still have to be in a caloric deficiency. I, I'm obsessed with her saying like, you know, at different points already in this video that like everybody is unique and everybody's body is different, this, that, the other. And then now she's like, if, if, if we're just talking black and white, and like she's able to acknowledge that nuance exists sometimes and also not acknowledge that nuance exists sometimes. And like, I, I wonder like a lot about how her brain works that like sometimes she can justify like the nuance of things. <laughs> and other times like she, it's impossible for her to think outside of like the binary of either it's right or wrong. You know, there probably are people who could manage to have a healthy relationship with food and do mukbangs for, for YouTube and things like that. I think it's fair to say that Amberlynn is probably not one of those people, just based on what she has said herself, you know? And I think that that's probably the, the case that Obese to Beast was probably making, especially he as somebody who has faced issues with eating and being overweight and things like that. So I, I just don't understand why, why she's defending the concept that you can do it when the reality is what we're talking about right now is Amberlynn Reed and her ability to do it. And I think, uh, you know, that's questionable. And it's also very laughable that we're doing all of this with uh, a mukbang of her eating a bunch of shrimp in the background, if we're being honest. But if you're eating thousands of calories per mukbang and you're doing it like daily, right. then obviously you're not gonna lose weight. Right. That's the only things that the viewers see. That makes sense and all. But my whole thing is like I'm gonna eat this food this anyways. Is, first of all, this is my life. I'm an adult. I can choose what I want to do versus what I don't want to do. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Like the big thing is like just because you are seeing one meal out of the what 
15 I have in a week, how is that going to decipher everything? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> how is that going to decipher everything? What, are we trying to crack a code? We, we have to decipher the code? And there are skinny mook bombers out there. They don't gain weight at all. Um, there have been mook bombers out there who have lost weight. It is a thing. It's not something that's crazy. Yeah, this, though, goes back to what I've been saying to Amberlynn time and time and time again. It's not my original quote. I got it from a Brene Brown book, and I'm pretty sure she took it from somebody else. But comparison is the thief of joy, bestie. It's the thief of joy. So, yeah, sure, there might be skinny mukbangers out there not gaining weight from mukbanging on YouTube, but that doesn't mean that's you. Like you just said, everybody's unique. Everybody's body is different. It is it's a thing. easy to gain weight doing it, obviously, but it's also not that hard to lose weight while doing it. I think here I was making excuses because I wanted to okay. continue the mukbang without backlash. Okay, self-awareness. Um, but and that's that's why you got the backlash. That's why you got the backlash is because you were making excuses for why you wanted to do mukbangs. I think so many people have said time and time again that it would be very chill for you to do mukbangs if you just acknowledged that you wanted to do mukbangs so you could do mukbangs on YouTube and eat food on YouTube. You know, we talk a lot, and not that I want to compare anybody to anybody, uh, because, again, comparison, <laughs> the thief of joy, but when you look at somebody like Hungry Fat Chick, I think there are a number of people who are concerned about Candy's well-being and things like that. But also, Candy is just very upfront about what she's doing on her channel, you know? She doesn't sugarcoat it, and she she does what she does, you know? So, <laughs> I think that's why you get a different reaction, because one day you're on your channel talking about trying to lose weight, and the next day you're mukbanging a, a platter of shrimp. You know, that's, again, that's the context for why people were upset. But it's just like, I was in a point in my life where, I mean, look at me, I was like at my heaviest and I still wanted to be able to create content that I knew people would click on and that was mm -hmm. mukbangs. I know you guys know, beauty, 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 <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Oh. Not, not her calling Chantal foodie booty. Yes, work diva. Whatever. She's kind of where I'm at right now, where it's just like, we're over. I don't the, know the words of her mouth, but I have talked to her privately. And I just watch her videos. <laughs> we're kind of just over people only supporting us when we're doing what they want us to do. That's just not. That is a true fact. That is a thing. People like me more when I'm losing weight, when I'm actively showing that I'm losing weight, which is a very weird concept in my opinion because it's like whether I'm losing weight or I'm not losing weight I am still like the same person within I mean like listen if 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 we need to talk about it I I think I've said I will feel probably the same about you <laughs> regardless of if you lose weight or not, because I agree. I think the person that you are is who you are, regardless of if you weigh 500 pounds or 200 pounds, you know? Like, I think you're going to continue to be the same person, really, either way. Like, you're going to be the same person at the end of the day. And, like, she can lose a whole bunch of weight, and her channel will probably, at this point, still be pretty boring. Like, I still have the same heart and the same personality. And I will say, on that note... Sorry, my, my thoughts are a little jumbled, but, but on that note, I do feel like that's the reason that some people really are looking for weight loss content on her channel is because that is the, the most interesting thing about her at this point because she doesn't let us see any other things, which is fine, but like that's really the only like interesting updates we get about her life these days are things related to her weight. To like someone based on their weight or to dislike someone based on their weight, mm. or to dislike or like someone based on, like, how they eat, or if they're on track, off track, I don't, is weird. I don't, Be well, I don't think that's what people are doing, though. Like, they, they're they supportive of you when you're losing weight because you identify that as something you're working on that you want to do. So when you're successful, they are happy for you, if that makes sense, right? Because you have shared that that's something that's important to you that you care about. So I don't know that, like, you should be upset that people are supportive of you because of that. I, I do understand why it might be frustrating that like people aren't supportive when you're not being successful. But like I don't I don't know that that is based on like whether or not they they like you as a person or not. They're just more supportive during those times because they're happy for you working towards your goals. Because when you truly think about it, like it is 
one's life. Like, this is my life. Uh I get to choose what I want to do with it. Absolutely. Just like the next person can choose. Like, do they want to smoke cigarettes? We all know where that goes. I recently watched um, a TikTok, actually. Wait, what What do cigarettes have to do with what we're talking about right now? Vascular doctors were asked the same question. And it was, as a heart doctor, what is one thing you would never do? And they all had the exact same answer. What's one thing you would never do as a cardiologist? I would never smoke, even if the packaging is appealing. I would never smoke anything or do any stimulant drugs, methamphetamine or cocaine. Horrible for your heart. I'm so confused what the fuck this has to do with shrimp gate. (laughs) Can somebody help me understand? I would never smoke and I actually, I would not drink alcohol either. No one is deciding upon if they should support or like or dislike someone based on them smoking cigarettes. Well, oh, what, 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 <laughs> what, bestie? First of all, I'm sure there are people. I mean, I could even just say for me personally, when I was like dating, if somebody smoked, it was a deal breaker for me. It didn't mean that I didn't like them as a person or anything like that, but I certainly would not date them. So I do think there are people that do make some decisions about their lives and who they're friends with or dating or things like that based on if people are smokers. I do have plenty of friends who smoke. I don't hold that against them just for the record. I was just like, if I'm going to be in a long lasting relationship with somebody, I probably am not going to be able to be around somebody who smokes because my lungs are fragile. But with that being said, nobody's out here making cigarette smoking channels. Or maybe they are, but they're certainly not popular. Actually, if there are people who just have, have videos where they're just like smoking up like a chimney... I mean, those probably do exist, don't they? But I listen, not what we're talking about regardless. And two, like, if people didn't like their content because they were smokers, I think that would be fine. And I think similarly, you know, at the time of this shrimp gate happening, people were fed up with watching a girl go on camera and talk about being a weight loss channel and consistently followed up with mukbangs, okay? That was the issue. <laughs> it's just like, how are you throwing in all of these, like, things like cigarette smoking in here to detract from what we're talking about in this video? Apples and oranges, girl. Apples and oranges. Both bad habits, but not relatable in this context. Well, smoking cigarettes is actively killing somebody. Yeah, okay. Just like, you know, me being off track is also actively killing me. Well, you pull up a fucking cigarette smoking channel and we could talk about if I react to them someday and, and comment on their behaviors. I don't understand how these things are the same. But it's like, why does... Cigarette smoking, just for the lack she, of a better example, get less heat than for, someone might First of all, it does. You know, eating some shrimp on camera. First of all, it does. Second of all, they're not sitting here doing cigarette mukbangs, okay? <laughs> they're not. Or at least I haven't seen them. And I'm sure if those channels do exist, they do have people who are critiquing them. And you're comparing yourself to other people. And it's just the thief of joy. The thief of joy. The thief of joy. It all boils down to one thing, and we all know the answer. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, Are these comments on the shrimp gate video? All right, yeah, these people are not, are not being helpful or kind, for sure. (laughs) But, like, uh, I don't understand what this has to do with the cigarettes. I don't understand what this has to do with, like, the larger conversation, which at the time for people who were talking about it was like, how are you going to sit here talking about being a weight loss channel and then not being a weight loss channel and then come in mukbang on camera? I don't understand what your point is. <laughs> it's just like she's showing a lot of stuff like out of context, I think, to detract from like what the point is. This person here and this person here, we probably still have the same beliefs. But I just feel like back then I had more like, I don't give a fuck attitude because I didn't care about my weight as much as I do now. I didn't care about what I was okay. eating as much as I do now. So I okay. feel like that's probably going to be like a really big shift, but I feel like my opinion probably is still the same, but we'll see. The calories and the nutrition is on the bottom of this. 
And she's doing exactly what I'm doing. Where if we film a mukbang, obviously it's very possible to stay under a lot of calories. It's been a while since she paused. I think she's still talking about Chantal right here and how they are managing their their mukbangs into their healthy lifestyles. The day. So this. That's very true. Keep in mind, I am still harassed to this day about me eating a whole shrimp cocktail. So, yeah, let's still keep that in mind because she, you're going to see here that's that's not the truth. From what I remember, I do say how many calories I actually ate in this video. She She's really losing the plot. <laughs> She's really losing the plot. I I wonder what is going through her mind that she felt like she had to come address this after all these years. Because I just don't understand what what point she's trying to make. Which is 90 calories per serving. And there's 4.5 servings in this whole thing. So 90 times 4.5. We can do the math later, but it's not that many calories. <laughs> we can do the math later. Good old cocktail sauce. And that's even if I finish the whole thing. So it's like not that difficult. Like my sausage fest video, delicious, delicious, <laughs> delicious. And that's uh, calories. I do remember her do doing a sausage fest mukbang as well. She did try for a while to do um, like quote unquote healthier mukbangs, but also like still threw in unhealthy mukbangs too. So I don't, I mean, regardless for me, it was never about like the quote unquote healthiness of the meal. It was all about like, you clearly are, are trying to manage this relationship you have with food and yet you're like purposely sitting down with a large quantity of food to film for a video and, and you're not gonna be able to manage that kind of relationship with food moving forward in the way that you want to. And I was able to stay under my calories and the next day I was down about, I think it was like 2.6 pounds. So it's whatever, honestly, like people will just- It's true. If you stay below your calories, <sighs> you can film mukbangs. <laughs> what I was delusional with at the time is I didn't have a healthy relationship with food. It, yes, it wasn't exactly. That easy. It, it wasn't that easy for exactly. me. Exactly. Like, my relationship with food was so unhealthy. Again, it was just me making excuse after excuse exactly. after excuse. Exactly. See, I, th that's the thing. She, she has the self-awareness now to say like, oh, I was just like making excuses and I knew I couldn't do this. And that's what people were upset about. So it's, like, funny to me that she can acknowledge that in this, but, like, moments ago, she's like, well, I think you all know what the issue is. People just don't like fat people. People just don't, don't like fat people. No, it's like you're literally able to reflect and, and share and articulate what people were frustrated about at the time. And they'll continue to judge because they want something to judge you on. No matter what I do, no matter what Chantel does, we're going to get hate for it. Unless we're... I low-key kind of hate that I am talking about Chantel in this video. I did not know that I was. <laughs> um, as you guys know, me and Chantel are not, falling out. They are not friends just anymore. That, but there's things that she does that I find disgusting. And um, I don't like Chantel. Uh-huh. I Good don't for support you. her. Good. I don't think that she should get as much harassment as she does. Like... Once, you know, the haters go in real life, I feel like people are just, like, taking it way too far. But just do know that um, my thoughts on Chantel in this are definitely different than they are now. Wait, so. what exactly do you think people... Uh, well, I guess I don't really keep up with Chantel, maybe, like, Amber Lynn does. <laughs> but, like, does she not deserve to be held accountable for being a bigot? Like, I just, like very seriously asking that question. I don't know. I guess, like, I don't know what the in real life stuff she's referring to. Maybe the stuff with BBJ. I don't know. But, like, let's be honest. Chantal is not a good person, and anybody who's tried to hold her accountable for that is probably in the right space. I mean, I, I think there are ways to be weird in real life, and people do sometimes take that too far, so let me not, like, get that twisted. I'm just curious... 
I don't know, I guess that's not the point of this video. That's not the point of this video. And I'm glad to hear Amberlynn taking such a strong stance against Chantal, because she used to, she used to waver, which is interesting, because, well, now I really do need to say this. It's interesting now that she's willing to say that. I think that's a result of, like, Chantal finally just being, like, rude and mean to Amberlynn, too. <laughs> like, I think it was back when she, like, made fun of Amberlynn's dangling ankle or whatever. And it's interesting to me that... Amberlynn can now strongly say all of that, but would not speak that loudly back when it was like racism, homophobia, bigotry, etc. But you are moms. <laughs> you are our bosses. You're not my mom. You are our dads. <laughs> you are our doctors. I just think the fact that people can hate on us so hardcore and judge us so hard over the food we put in our mouth is kind of crazy. I it's a little obsessive. Again, again the context. Like, I still agree with that. Like, I just feel like it's no one's business what someone else does to their body. There are so many sure. things in this world that people do on a day-to-day -day basis that is actively killing them. And I keep bringing up cigarettes. If you smoke, <laughs> it will offend you. It is something that kills so many people in the USA. Uh-huh. Why, 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 why? I, 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 somebody help me understand why, why the focus on cigarettes? Like, we're not talking about cigarettes. That's not the, the subject of this conversation. Like, why are we talking about fucking cigarettes? I don't get it. Like, just because people are dying from cigarettes doesn't mean that your choices that you're making are impacting you. I'm not saying one way or the other. Like, to some extent, I do agree. Like, what I eat, what Amberlynn eats, what whoever eats is, like, their business to do what they want to do with that. I do disagree that it's, like, nobody's business on the internet what Amberlynn eats when, like, at the time of this video, she was making lots of money from, from doing mukbangs and putting it onto the internet for people to watch and have some kind of reaction, entertainment, etc. from. But, like, I don't understand the cigarettes. <laughs> Somebody help me understand. I can't help but think of that and kind of compare the two because food and cigarettes both kill people. Okay, and people aren't making whole channels for the most part that I know about, at least. Maybe there's a whole, like, corner of the YouTube internet where people are just making lots of money off of their, their cigarette mukbangs. <laughs> okay? I, I don't understand the correlation! My brain is not working right now. 90 times 4.5. It's four hundred and five calories. All the... So that whole thing of shrimp is only 405 calories, and that is including the cocktail sauce. Okay, it works. It's a lot of food because it's voluminous, and that is what you kind of go after when you are in a calorie deficiency for weight loss. <laughs> you want to eat very low-calorie, healthy foods uh, that are high in volume. L love dietitian Lynn explaining to me how calories and stuff work as though that's the point here. <laughs> as though that's the issue here. Four hundred five calories. And it's actually really healthy, in my opinion. Vegans would probably disagree. Oh my god. Like, I guess, oh my god. still, in, in oh my, my mind right now, it's like, I understand to an extent why people were mad that I ate this on camera, but I also don't understand it at the same time, because if I was someone who was skinny eating this, no one would have batted an eye. Like, there are move bars out there who yes. are skinny. Stop, who eat. stop fucking comparing yourself to them. Stop, stop comparing yourself to them. It's so wild to me that literally minutes ago in this video, you talked about how everybody's different and everybody's body is different. People are talking about you in the context of your history on your channel where you clearly didn't have a good relationship with food and yet would get on camera and do mukbangs every day. Mm -hmm. This this isn't about Zach Choi eating food. No, like we can we can talk about Zach Choi mukbanging in a different video. I don't even know that much about him outside of that. I do know he is a like famous mukbanger. Okay, like it doesn't make sense to me. Thousands of calories in each video, and no one says a single thing. 
No one bats an eye. I mean, are we sure? Um, Just for the record, these are some comments that I found on Zach Choi's most recent <laughs> YouTube video. So just to be clear, he does also get questions about his health. I think one of the like the craziest ones for me, um, I don't know her name, but she does like ASMR, like honey something. I don't yeah, know this isn't about her either. Desserts. She eats so much in one sitting and frequently uploads videos and no stop and stop comparing yourself to them because you're literally never going to be them you are your own person with your own history your own experiences and the context of this video again i'm i'm sure at this point sounding like a broken record because it's so frustrating to sit here and watch her say everybody's unique everybody's body is different and then go on and be like yeah but zach Choi can do it this other girly can do it so, like, why can't I? <laughs> why can't I? First of all, you can. First of all, if you wanted to, you would be well within your rights to get on camera and do it. That's your choice. It's your YouTube channel. You can do whatever you want. But second of all, they're not the same as you. And and you've clearly pointed that out. Someone says a thing. And here I am. If I was to eat this whole shrimp, um, I would only be eating 405 calories. Again, let's see how many I do eat. I just don't want people to think of food farms and think of gaining weight. That's not what it is. I'd still be eating shrimp, whether I was filming the video or not. Right. <laughs> and like I've talked about before, I'm done. Like, constantly talking about my weight on the channel because there's more to me than that. And she, people, spoiler alert, she was not done. <laughs> she was not done. She was just starting. I don't realize that, I don't think. People just look at me as a number on the scale. And I'm tired of that. Like, I literally am just tired of it. And... The best thing I can say is keep watching my channel <laughs> and, you know, I feel like it's not something I'll never talk about again, like, but obviously I will. Like, obviously. You will hear me talk about, you know, oh, I've lost a lot of pounds or, oh, I've lost a lot of pounds. This is how much I weigh now. It's not something I'm never going to talk about again, but it's just like it's no longer a main focus because that's not, like, that's not everything that I am. There's so much more to I agree with that still. Like, I know I'm actively talking about... Uh -huh. you know, my weight loss journey. Absolutely. And that's something I am going to continue talking about, but I'm more than that. Sure, and yeah, of course. There has been so many times in my YouTube career, I've been on here for a decade, where I've wanted to stop talking about my weight. And, and, and in fact, you've claimed you would, and yet here we are still today talking about your weight. You know, it's interesting to say that, like, you know, she wants people to think of her as more than her weight because she absolutely is. Like, nobody is solidly just one part of their identity, right? Like, in comparison, like, I'm a gay person, but that's not the only thing that I am, but it's an important part of who I am, right? Similarly, she is not just, like, an overweight, morbidly obese woman. She is many things. Unfortunately, like, she doesn't show us anything outside of those things, and also spent years building her channel, trolling people around her weight and things like that. And in fact, like, another thing I remember people feeling frustrated by was that this whole shrimp mukbang was just her way to troll people. And, you know, she I don't think she's ever admitted that this in particular was her trolling, but she, over time, has admitted that there were many things that she trolled about in the past related to her weight. I get her need and desire to be seen as more than just a woman trying to lose weight, and then also, at the same time, can see, like, why that's how people view her, because she's built her channel around it. Also want to say, I do think, overall, would be better off if she, like I said, stopped talking about her weight on her channel and really showed us some of this other stuff that she claims to be. You know, she is more than that, but in general, outside of maybe some coloring books and some scratch art and things like that, like what we see, it's just her talking about her weight most of the time. I wanted to like be free of that discussion because in the past there has been times where talking about it sharing my journey sure. was highly triggering for me. Yeah, and anytime I'm sure. I would mention that in a YouTube video that, you know, I'm kind of done sharing my weight loss journey, people would get upset. Like, very angry. This has made me realize that maybe I just should not be sharing my weight loss journey whatsoever with YouTube if that's all people are trying to look for. It yeah, is, I oh think... I think this was the video that she posted right before the shrimp mukbang, which which all added into 
the, the frustration people felt. Uh, does Amber Lynn have diabetes? I bet she does. I know she does. She should. Or, oh my god, I know Amber Lynn is over 600 pounds. She's probably like 620. Oh, she's 640 now. Look at her face in this video. Oh, look at her body. Like, what? What? People are wanting me. The, the classic, what? I, I do miss her saying that sometimes to be bigger. People want to know my weight in every video. People want me to step on the scale in every video. Like that's all people want me to talk about. I think I'm just done with it. Like, okay. Yeah. Done with yeah. I, I remember this all very well. And, and the reason people get angry is that she acted like, you know, we felt entitled to that information as though that wasn't already information that she was sharing. And then she would only not share when, like, initially at this time in the world, she would only not share when she wasn't doing well. And I think more recently, she has gone on to not share and then do really well, which I think she should just stick to, and she should just actually commit to not sharing it, because I, I think she is correct that sometimes sharing these things are very, like, hard for her to do and, like, mess up her mentals and things like that. I just... <laughs> I just, like... I don't know. This is, I feel like I'm going in circles in my mind. Like the fact that we're still talking about Shrimp Gate and by we, I mean she is. Cause I don't, I don't like to go back and, you know, rehash some of these things. I know that's a thing that a lot of people do, but like I don't rehash a lot of stuff. And, you know, people have tried to criticize me in the past for holding stuff against her that, you know, happened years ago. And for the most part, like I don't, like I, I think. A lot of her behaviors obviously haven't changed, and I, you know, I might talk about those kinds of things. Like, I've been watching her for a long time, and a lot of her behaviors have just repeated time and time again. But, like, when was the last time I brought up Shrimpgate on my channel, to be quite honest with you? Like, it was so long ago. I told you that was, like, literally two apartments ago, right? Like, I, I've lived many lives since Shrimpgate, and I would assume Amber Lynn has as well to some extent. I think I'm done with it for now. Like, it's weird because I'm more than that. Sure. And I have more to talk about than that. I have then more do to it. than that. Then do so it. I felt, you know, a lot of times in the past where I was kind of just molding myself into a person that, like, people wanted to see. I felt like people wanted to see someone talk about their weight who was also doing mukbangs because it was like a train wreck. It was a train wreck okay. aspect to it all. And so that is what I kept doing because I knew that's what people wanted. Oh, okay. All right. So self-awareness, right? So maybe maybe it's less that people, you know, are critiquing the food you're eating and saying you're a bad person for eating food. And maybe it's about acknowledging what you just said, which is that you are purposely doing content to to feed the people, and maybe that's a poor choice of words, but to feed the people that wanted to watch a train wreck. And this is when people said enough is enough at the time. They were like, this is it. I can't do this anymore. And it's true. The views say it all. Well, also some of these, some of these videos you're showing right now are, have been on YouTube for like years. You didn't you didn't post a lot of these videos and get four hundred thousand views right when you posted it. Just like how the most popular videos on my channel, like I think my most popular one is at like six hundred thousand views. It did not initially get six hundred thousand views in the first like week of it being live on my channel. You know what I'm saying? Like these are all some of your oldest videos. I would argue some of the I most classic the videos. Calls. In almost a year, <laughs> it's been almost a year, and I have been actively trying to get weight loss surgery and trying to better myself with my food, and my views are lower than ever. I'm so confused, because did you not just say earlier in this video that people really only support you when you're when you're doing well and you're on track, and now you're claiming that because you're on track and, and bettering yourself, you're not getting views? Isn't it one or the other? The very thing that would boost my views, which would boost the money in my fucking wallet, is if I return to this. I, I also don't even believe that that's the case or the truth, if we're also being honest. Like, 
the reason your views are shitty right now, what my speculation at least, would be that you're not showing anything. Every video is the exact same. I don't have to go watch every, well that's not entirely true, but like people probably don't feel like they have to watch every single video because not much happens in the span of three to four to five videos, you know? There's not much new stuff happening. You know, if you vlogged like yourself going out and about doing stuff, I think you could get some more views. I think if you showed yourself having any kind of human interaction with literally anybody on camera, you could get more views. I think there's so many things you could do to get more views that aren't mukbangs, but you know, you aren't really trying those things. I think a lot of people give those suggestions to you too. And I'm not going to. No. Am I gonna share my food with you guys? Sure. Will I take a few bites on camera? Sure. Sure. That ain't a mukbang. That ain't I, a mukbang. I agree. So, I agree. Oh God, I took a few bites of my omelet in a recent video and someone's like, I didn't know this was gonna be a mukbang. Where's the mukbang? <laughs> In the past, I just felt very, like, forced to talk about things that I didn't want to. You're you're not forced to do anything. All you gotta do is get up and keep breathing, girl. <laughs> like, nobody is forcing you to do any of this. This is your YouTube channel. You get to make all the decisions about what happens on your YouTube channel. So who, who's forcing you to do anything? Because I felt like that's all I had. And that's sad, because there was more to me back then. And there's more to me now. I want to share more of my hobbies. I want to talk more about my, my past. I know a lot of people want to hear about my foster care experience. And I'm actually thinking about doing a foster care Q&A. You know, I just want to talk more about things I've went through. Things I'm going through today. I want to, you know, share more of my life. My girlfriend, my fur babies, you know, friends. And, you know, show you things like that. I don't want every video that I film for people to just be like, so about that weigh-in, though. So if I just take it out completely, maybe people will be quiet about it. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. This is why I was losing so many subscribers. Why? Is because... I was a bit smug. True. And I said I didn't want to talk about my weight anymore. Then I felt almost like gaslit and like coerced into continuing that. Coerced? What, what, what was the word you just said? Just to get those subscribers back. Just so people would stop. Like, it, it felt like bullying. It was like oh the my craziest God. thing. Like, sure. That, that's, so, that's so wild to me because one... You know, you you made promises on your channel that you were working on your weight loss, that you're a weight loss channel. It is more than reasonable to think that if you, you switched that content and said, I'm no longer doing this, that people who clicked on your channel to watch that might decide, yeah, then I'm not watching because that's what I click on your channel to watch and you're not doing it anymore, right? Like... That's not, that's not bullying. That's not, I think, what you meant to say, coercion. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think that's any of those things. It's just people deciding that they don't want to, they don't want to watch this anymore. And that's okay. To use the word bullying to describe people deciding to unsubscribe from your channel because they no longer enjoy your content is real silly to me. <laughs> Very silly to me. Gate at the time, I didn't really discuss how I was feeling, but it put me in such a horrible headspace for so many people to actively, like, almost put up a strike against me. Yeah. Like, people were striking against me, it felt like. Okay. And it was, it was hard. Like, it was mentally the hardest thing ever. Bessie, this is just, like, how social media content creators work you know like if i suddenly go off the rails and just start posting shit that nobody's interested in people are gonna stop watching and probably unsubscribe and that's how it works like people for better or worse signed up to watch my channel for a particular reason and if i stop doing said thing on my channel right it's probably reasonable people will stop subscribing. Actually, a perfect example of this is back when I did take a break from watching Amberlynn, so many people stuck around and I was like truly very grateful, but like I knew some people were going to unsubscribe and that's what they did, you know? And and I assume if I ever was just like today going to be like, yeah, I'm no longer not once, not never going to react to Amberlynn again, there would probably be a similar reaction. I don't understand how how you're taking this and making this some kind of like you're the victim of bullying situation when that's just how YouTube works. And when I noticed it happening, I shut down pretty bad like in my personal life and I just felt 
I didn't feel good. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I'm sure it doesn't feel good to, like, lose subscribers. It probably was a very overwhelming feeling, especially because she relied on, you know, people watching her videos to make a living. So I'm sure that was very stressful. I'm just saying it wasn't bullying. That's, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. And I immediately went back to what everyone wanted. Oh, is this the... Is I'm this just talking. Oh. Doing that. Punch. Ah. You know. I'm just trying to keep it, like, simple for now. And then she said she immediately went back to that, but I'm telling you, there was also a video where she talked about how Shrimpgate was already pre-recorded, and she, she didn't... You even saw on the screen earlier, she put up... She uploaded the Shrimpgate video with the text that says this was pre-recorded content. So she had already decided to go back to doing weight loss content. So to, to act like she was pressured into doing it when she had already decided when she posted Shrimpgate that she was gonna go back to it, that's manipulative. That, that is not how it happened. I just wanna like apologize to everyone that I have like upset. Like I said, my last two videos were pre-recorded and I wanted to upload them because I did work on them. I did do them. I did edit them. I already had them scheduled to go up and my whole, like everything, how I feel is completely different. I currently have three videos for you guys where I am talking about weight loss and am working my way into a better me. I, I really do apologize. I didn't mean to upset anyone in the moment i just really thought i was doing what was best for me with the weight loss with the weight loss journey with the train wreck when what i wanted to do was take out all of that then you should have done that share the happiness of my life then then you could have done that share more about my past listen all of that is on you bestie all, all of that is on you. You're the one who decides what gets posted and published to your YouTube channel. Not me, not any of the other reaction channels, not anybody in your audience. You, you decide that. And you said, I want the paycheck, so I'm gonna go back to what I think people and my audience wanna watch. And I didn't get to do that because I felt so coerced into... <laughs> Why does she keep saying coerced or horsed or whatever it is she's saying? Just being this train wreck. That's what I've been on YouTube. That's why I was an icon, as people call it. I'm not that no more. I'm not that no more. And I think it's really hard for people to wrap their head around. It's scary. I could easily go back to this. Okay, but, it's but scary don't. Because, like, you clearly don't want to. I have to every day wake up. It's so it's so fascinating that she continues to be self-aware enough to say that this, what she's watching on screen, was train wreck and not able to realize that the train wreckness of it all is why people stopped subscribing after this video. Obviously, she gained those people back and, like, she continued to be a train wreck, but, like... And choose me and choose health and choose bettering myself over money. And it's hard. It is. Especially when, like, people are constantly talking about, oh, my God, your channel's dying. You're barely getting any views. Oh, I did watch this video. Oh! I just can't do it. <laughs> she, she sure is watching the reaction channel. She, she's going to full-on include Alex and Shunk in here, okay? Over the amount of views on this, 26,000. And that's it for Amber. I mean, this has to be an all-time low for her channel. I haven't seen views this low in a long time. You just would expect bigger numbers than that, right? But it seems as though right, interest in Kimberlyn Reed has fallen off of a cliff lately. I don't I don't get myself too worked up about how many views Amber Lynn does or doesn't uh, because I know someday that could be me. <laughs> I know some days that could be me. So I don't sit over here and try to spend too much time uh, inspecting how many views Amber Lynn does or doesn't have. But as long as she's happy with the content she's posting, I think she should. it's fine. She can make a living off of twenty to 30,000 views per video. Trust me, she'll be fine. It's because this Amber Lynn doesn't exist anymore. 
because I'm actively choosing to improve and be better every single day. Yeah, but that's so interesting because earlier you claimed that people only support you when you're actively choosing to improve and be better every single day. So I don't understand why that would have any impact on your views. That's very interesting to me. And uh, what I'm saying is, is like, I think that she's not really <laughs> like being very interesting and that's really what the problem is. I'm just like, noting the the contradictions in her own arguments, if that makes sense. And plus sometimes I feel like me broadcasting it so much is what makes me fail. I feel like if I just work behind the scenes Absolutely. and work on my eating disorder and like my brain and Oh like, her eating disorder? Oh her eating well that that doesn't exist anymore. She never had it. She was misdiagnosed with that. Weight loss in private, then that'll help because there won't be so much pressure on me. But yeah. that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted it off the camera. Then then do it. I had so much pressure and I still to this day, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I, I can safely say that people actively freaked out about it. Losing around 12,000 subscribers in just a couple days because of this video. I'm so unclear on what she, she thinks, based on what she said so far in this video, what she thinks was the reason that people unsubscribed from her. Like, she seems to now be suggesting that the reason people unsubscribed was because she decided she was going to stop being a train wreck. But earlier in the video, it seemed that she was suggesting people unsubscribe because of the amount of food she ate. And, I mean, I, I think both of those things are not really the full context of why people <laughs> unsubscribed. But I, I feel like I've just been through it today watching this video. I'm, I'm confused. I feel like I've talked myself in circles. I feel like I'm I'm going crazy. I mean, it shows everything and it says everything, honestly. And you uh, okay. you said nothing in this video. I think that's gonna be it for me. Just my little trash. So, I ate half of that. Again, the whole thing was 405. I ate like 200 we're, calories. We're, we're back to, it shouldn't matter that I was eating food on camera because I only ate 200 calories worth of shrimp. Okay, all right, we got it. We got it. I got the point, Amberlynn. Barely had any of the cocktail sauce. And still to this day, I am harassed about this fucking shrimp cocktail. People, I can't believe you ate that whole thing. Yeah, says the person who ate the whole thing of shrimp cocktail. The whole thing, the whole thing. Like, the same with the rotisserie chicken. <laughs> the fucking, the fucking shrimp cocktail and the fucking rotisserie chicken. I agree. I don't, I don't give a shit anymore. It's more about the context surrounding it. I don't care how much you did or didn't eat. It was more than just the food you were eating on camera, bestie. It's like, if you finish the video or skip till the end, you would see... I didn't eat the whole thing. Okay, the congratulations. Thing congratulations for not eating the whole thing. Now can we address the real issues that people had? But I didn't eat it all. So in this mukbang, I ate 200 calories. That's it. And I lost 12,000 subscribers. So so now so now the reason that people unsubscribed was because of the 200 calories of shrimp you ate. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Great. Whatever. That's not what happened, but if that's if that's the, the message we're going with, it's wild to me that you showed so much self-awareness about your train wreck nature of a channel, but yet you still want to sit here and say the reason people unsubscribed was 200 calories worth of shrimp. Okay. Eight, half, two and a half, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys still enjoy this video. I know to a lot of people, like, seeing someone my size, eating on camera doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's like, I'm gonna eat anyways. I'm not, like, sitting here eating 50,000 cheeseburgers and some shrimp. Like, I don't think I'm never gonna come on here and eat fast food or whatever, but, like... Exactly. Think of the other on channels and, like, really skinny people. Like, why is that okay? You know, just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're healthy, but I'm not hating on any because... Uh, that's that's literally it. Just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're healthy. She just, just does that. She just doesn't does that. That junk that you're she eating just does isn't it. making you unhealthy. Just, isn't giving you diabetes or high blood pressure. Or she something. gets she gets so close to understanding it and then just immediately so far away. Etc. Um, I'm definitely not health at every size because I don't consider being super morbidly obese healthy at all. So that's not what I'm saying, but what I am saying is, I just, 
it all boils down to one thing, like I keep saying. So I'm a big, I'm big on fat shaming. And now, of course, this movement of fat acceptance is all across social media. And there is this woman who is, I guess, a fat representative. Her name is Samira Miller. She's got one. I don't understand why she's adding in these, these TikToks that, like, I don't understand what the point is. We're here talking about you, Amberlynn. We're here talking about you, bestie. Then you would understand why fat phobia should be illegal. It's hard. Okay, I cut out, I'm sure, most of that TikTok because, <laughs> you know, brevity and we only have so much time here. But uh, basically it was about fat phobia and how, like, it does exist and how it does impact people. And I agree 100% <laughs> with the, the concept that fat phobia is real and it does exist. And it's just weird to me because... It feels like Amber Lynn is saying that, like, you know, she she deserves to be treated like other other skinny muckbangers. But I do think, like, the the she's leaving out the context that I have gone over time and time again just in this one video of why people were upset at the time. And, yes, there were people who were upset about her being fat. I, I don't want to take that away because I think there continues to be people who do treat her poorly because she's fat and not because of, like, her behaviors or actions, but at the time, people were upset because it was clear that she was just trolling us, that she was intentionally trying to be a train wreck, and that she was intentionally, uh, you know, doing mukbangs to get people riled up for views and clicks. So, she even said that herself in this video, and I think that has little to do with, you know, her getting treated differently as a fat mukbanger versus the people who are skinny mukbangers, because again, I don't watch those skinny mukbangers, but I assume most of them know what their gig is, and that their gig is coming on camera and eating a lot of food, you know? I I assume that they, that's what they've always promised their their audience, and they've never spent hours and hours and hours of time on YouTube trolling their audience, okay? So Amber Lynn can try to separate some of these things and act like, you know, it's all because she's fat, when, like, a percentage of the, the hate she gets online is for sure, for sure, because she's fat, and she can just keep ignoring, like, her own behaviors that led to this... And, and do all of that all she wants, okay? It's discrimination. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I was really tired of the negativity, and uh, I just want more positivity. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was it. That's it. That's the end of the video. You know, I was saying that I was tired of the negativity, and I just wanted more positivity. In return, I got <sighs> so much negativity that it was just like... <laughs> It made my mental health really bad. Well, I'm I'm and sorry that it did. I, don't I I do I will say that like I you know I I think I've always been concerned about your mental health and it sucks that this had a negative impact on your mental health. I think a large part of this though is important for you to realize like you do have agency over that. You do have control over that. You you know you can't always control your mental health, but you can control the things that you put out into the world that you know are going to cause you to have negative mental health, right? So, like, I hope you learn from this experience amongst everything else. And it seems like to some extent you have. Like, I agree that you have not done mukbangs in a very long time on your channel, and I think that's for the best. I remember, you know, if I shared that at the time, but it was very, very hard for me. You know, my friends around me, my girlfriend at the time, they knew, they saw. It was rough. I still don't think what happened was warranted and still to this day people talk about this moment and I, I still don't get it, I still don't understand it and I don't think that I ever will. So anyways, if there are any other videos that you guys want me to watch, no. videos that I have filmed let's, in the past, let's not do this let again. me know. Um, especially like no. ones that people consider iconic or ones that no. um, are controversial this even is... <laughs> or ones that are funny, it doesn't matter. Um, no, I don't want to do this again. I'll do it. I don't so, want to do this again. Yeah, that's this video. Nobody give her any suggestions. I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I really don't.
Listen, this video, certainly long enough. Certainly long enough, so I don't have a whole lot else to add, but thanks so much for watching today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and all of the fun contradictions that are Amberlynn Reed. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to me down below. Hit the bell button so you get notifications. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!